we have the same training philosophy of just if we're going to be in there just fucking destroy it and it was kind of a like a clash of titans that <laughs> just kind of worked really well <laughs> Dave and John, how did you guys meet each other, and uh, when did you start training together? So whoever wants to start with I'll you. I'll take that. Uh, John used to train at Westside for a short period of time in uh, one of his off-seasons going back into the 90s, I believe. 95, 96. Actually, yeah. 94, yeah. 95. Can you talk about your time at Westside briefly there, John? Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to build my upper body up because my legs were way ahead of my upper body and Mike Francois was going there as well. And um, I always liked powerlifting and the powerlifters that I knew were generally, you know, pretty big guys. And I, I liked what I read about Louis. So I went over there to get a bigger upper body and I really liked competing. I did a, I unfortunately I did one contest. I did a competition in Toledo, which I won. Um, but um, it was, I was probably only there a couple of years. I started having some elbow problems. You know, we were moving the bar down on my back because I squat. When I came there, I squatted with a real high bar, yeah. almost with a vertical spine. And then we started moving the bar down my back and my elbows and my hand, wrists out. And it was literally destroying my elbows. So I kind of got away from it and I just never came back. But the, my elbows is, is really why I stopped going there. Um, but um, so that's how I, that's actually how I met Dave. I reached out to John years later because I was crazy busy with the stuff that I was doing. I'd went through, you know, the dieting with Justin and I worked with Shelby for a little bit. And it wasn't so much about the dieting. It's just training wise. Um, I saw an article that he wrote. Hell, it may have even been for our site. But I read some of it and I really liked what he was saying because I don't want to say it resembled West Side, but there were things in there that made a lot of sense. You know, train the hamstrings before you squat. It's like, okay, I used to do glute ham raises before I squatted. It made a big difference. So I, I reached out to him and basically hired him. Like, this was before he had the programs that he's putting out now. They used to be old school programs, you know, that he would send. And I, I did not want to have to think about my training, but I didn't want to give my training. Because even with Justin and Shelby and everybody else, they didn't. I took care of my training. So giving my training over to somebody else was a huge leap of faith. And I didn't want to do that to somebody who I didn't at least have remembered training with or agree with the philosophy with and called and talked to him and said, you know, let's, let's do this. And so he started writing the training and it was, he understood the importance that I was going to have to modify things, you know? So other people, I'm sure, if I would have contacted, would have been, like, a little weird about that kind of shit. But, and then, then he started coming out um, on a Saturday to train. I think one leg workout or whatever it was, he just, we have the same training philosophy of just, if we're going to be in there, just fucking destroy it. And it was kind of a, like a clash of titans that <laughs> just kind of co you know, worked really well. Because the training intensity was through the roof, which I, I've always loved that. I've always kind of done that. He's always kind of done that. I and mean, then you put it together. And then for me, I find out, you know, his backstory a little bit more. And that he wanted the pro card. And I'm like, I want to be a part of this journey somehow. Like, how can I be a hmm. part of this? You know, because this this is cool. This is this is really kind of what bodybuilding is about. It's what powerlifting is about. It's, mm -hmm. it's not an underdog story. It's just... You know, I know what it's like to try so hard to get something and miss and then try and miss and try and <laughs> miss. And while it's I'm not going to say I live vicariously through anybody, it was just really cool to be a part of that journey and seeing it happen. And from that, we developed a friendship. But also from that, he really pissed me off when he didn't retire, which <laughs> after turning pro. But as I said once before, you know, I understand why. You know, I understand the mentality behind that. But um, I still don't like that. But what, what it was, worked out okay. What was the most memorable training session you guys had? Obviously the um, oh, Baconator one. There's a lot. <laughs> well, the first thing that always comes to my mind, and I don't even know if it was really the hardest training session, but – we had a cooler that we had full of ice packs. Yep. 
so we we knew going in that we need to have an ice pack to put on our behind our necks between sets on our on our wrist you know and all, all our heat you know mm-hmm. spots between sets so we would be able to make it through the training so we didn't have a stroke and die so we didn't die yeah and so it was like we knew that there was a possibility that this <laughs> could actually kill us yeah so we probably didn't tell your wives that brought ice packs out with a cooler to oh yeah so i mean that i mean there there's a lot of other ones that you know there was a one of them's on youtube somewhere where i did a challenge set of um deadlifts Deadlifts. with the chains and and i passed out he just like stepped over me and just started (laughs) taking the weight off for like that that's how normal this was it was just okay he's done let's just do the next set (laughs) yeah you know and i remember um, smelling that puke Oh yeah. yeah. And it was the the hard part for me was I had to go from uh training I I call it training economy, doing the least amount I absolutely needed to do to elicit the highest response to matching his training volume in the shortest time possible, which for me that was hell. So the first month was was hard. It was hell. Because the breathing was hard. The rest period yeah. was hard. I had a lot of adaptations to make <laughs> that went beyond just regular muscle adaptations. It's like this shit is moving quick. It's moving fast. Somehow or another, I still got to keep an eye on my lifters who are in their training, but still not die, you know, and be able to breathe. But that came fast. That, that came pretty yeah. quick because the volume didn't really, because the volume was moderately high when you first start coming yeah. out it's after we got together that it was like okay fucker you think this is enough let's try this and then well what if we did this and th- these were these were not just like stupid training sessions that well they they, they kind of were but there were intelligent conversations that led yeah. to them to where we justified the means some way or another which, everything had a reason. Everything had a reason. The reason wasn't always good, but everything did. Have it a had a reason. <laughs> you know, sometimes it was. Can we do the, the big? Actually, the scariest question, and I think this is to anybody who trains at a super super hard state, is if you have to ask yourself, "Can I do this?" Yeah. That that's a troublesome question, because the answer to that's never good, because it's. You know what the answer? You, you, there, there, there's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah, we had that conversation before a lot of sets. Like, yeah, can it's we like, actually do this? Is this really? I don't know, man. This, there's only one way to find yeah. out. <laughs> like, is this really smart? I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's but it's the other thing I remember is I had one leg session that. Um, it was during the, he wasn't there so it was during the night and it was i think i almost killed myself i actually think i may have had a stroke but anyhow him and his training partner and somebody else came out for the next session and i'm explaining this and i was explicitly told to never train my legs again by myself so who that told was you like, that he did it was a hard uh, rule yeah, yeah. and it was not a joke it was like this because it's worse at that time and i it's probably it was the same for him it's worse if you didn't have any regular any, any regulation. Right. You had nobody else to guide yourself off of. Like, oh my God, he's about ready to die, so I got to be about close to that. If you don't have that, you just keep going. Yeah. And then it's not good because you never think you did enough. And different mentality. Like, you yeah. Know, I'm not saying it's the best mentality, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I don't think if, like, I don't think if we push that hard. I don't think I ever would have progressed the way I did. Well, here, here's you know? the here's the justification of it is during that time frame, it was over a few years, two, three years, many visitors came to visit you, clients of yours, friends of yours, almost all pro bodybuilders. Yeah. Almost all threw up or couldn't make it through the workout. Yeah. So... Yeah. I mean, we're not talking amateurs that were just coming out and yeah, these, were, I mean, these were the nice. best of the best and they weren't able to hang with what was a normal. And sometimes we took it down because yeah. we didn't know, because we didn't want to, some of them were prep, you know, they were not that far out. 
Yeah. He didn't want to see him get hurt. So it's like, well, we need to dial it back. And I'm like, fuck that, dial it back shit. But we had yeah. to, you know. Yeah. Now, given any of them, had they stayed for six weeks, eight weeks, I think we would have been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Because yeah. some of them were a lot stronger. Yeah, you know, we had some beasts stronger. coming through, Fucking man. Fucking Anton and, and uh, Ken, Ken and, and, and Flaude. We had some beasts coming through. Strong. 